interesting views from TAP, but it's his opinion. What is yours on the same? Well, you can let me know also through the Diamond TV Zambia Facebook page where this show is streaming live right now. But getting to Dave, I did speak about the interview I did with Dave. Um, this was actually when Slab D was being launched as a brand ambassador for ITEL. And I caught up with different artists. I caught up with uh, Bobby East, who was there, of course, different personalities, Crystal Clear, also caught up with him. So, and I think that was also my first time interacting with uh, Crystal Clear, especially in the media like that. And Dave as well. What was interesting is that I interviewed these two entertainers back to back. And how ironic is that they are both late now. May their souls continue resting in eternal peace. But here's something that I found on the both of them. And we just interacted during the launch. Oh yeah. As a DJ, uh, and then we've got artists who are making these major key moves, man. Yeah, man. How, how does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel humbled, makes me feel honored, makes me feel great because um, it's um, something that we've been crying for for a long time. You know, endorsements is the way to go. You know, we can't keep relying on shows, you know, for, for forever. You know, our friends in Nigeria, South Africa, all these top guys, the top artists, you see, they make their mark, make their name through endorsements. You know what I mean? Because endorsements, you know, they carry a long way. Even the imaging, the branding is perfected when you are endorsed by, you know, a serious company. So it starts from there. You know, every, every, every beginning you have to have a new step. And this new step that we've seen here, you know, from the new beginning by IPL, you know, uh, the, you know sponsoring and, and, and pumping into Slap J, investing in him, in his talent, and ensuring that, you know, he represents the brand very well. It's very good for us. It's inspiring. It makes us, you know, work hard more and make us realize that, you know what, if you see into your potential, work with the right people, you get the right connection. So it makes me feel very good and it's a good step for Zaman Music, surely. All right, so are you working with the right people? Are you making the right connections? Yeah. You should have tried to ask uh, anything in the pipeline with Paris or Clear, maybe a little mm. brand ambassador deal? Well, for me, I was uh, in Malawi. I went there for an international show. Yeah. I, I was actually playing at a stadium. It was a massive uh, event. And I, I must say that I've got a lot of connections in Malawi right now. Mr. Lucius Banda, you know, uh, one of the icons in Malawi, is the guy who, you know, took me there, Wendy Harara as well. Very, very household name in Malawi. So I have those connections coming, and it's in the pipeline where any event that Malawi has, I'm sure I can try to cook up something and, and, and see how I can empower, you know, my fellow presenters, fellow musicians, and how we can cross borders in that area. And also, obviously, more good endorsements coming through. I'm just praying that, you know, we keep, we keep pushing. Possibly even IT. <laughs> Who knows? You're trying, you're trying to steal Slabdi's job, eh? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it doesn't have to be me being endorsed as brand ambassador. It can be me, you know, doing a lot of works, you know, on their behalf and representing them in their name. It doesn't mean I have to be brand ambassador, no. Yes, I can be brand ambassador, but not in the capacity of Slabdi. Yeah, I can be in a small capacity, but what I'm just trying to say is, I'm okay with anything. I'm, as long as it's beneficial to the Zaman music industry and to personal branding, I'm cool with it. Also, one of the hottest artists at the moment, one of the most, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can say featured, but definitely he's killing them books. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave, aka Mayes Yakwana, <laughs> aka uh, I Can Wake Up Next to You, aka <laughs> Nimayo, which is your latest single, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, you, you're, you're doing so well, and you know, you're under a label that's being managed by somebody who's obviously doing so well, and that's Lab D. Yeah. What's your take on this whole event together? This event is totally inspiring, exciting, and like like I said earlier, like I want to start hip hop almost. <laughs> okay. Like Slap D has made it look like singing is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want to rap also. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm totally inspired. Mm. And I feel I can do this. I've been inspired. Like it's burning inside me right now. So yeah, yeah. I want to do more like he's done right now. All right. Super inspired. I asked this to your other colleagues from XYZ, I want to ask you as well, does Slabi tell you anything like, personally on how you can, you know, reach the highest level in terms of as a brand and, you know, just making your music get out there more? Well, uh, he tells me talent is never enough. That's what he tells me. So that is enough. Like, it can take me to wherever I want to go. He tells me it's the hard work. It's the talent and it's fair. So he tells me that. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's all I need. Yeah. Yeah. So should we expect anything uh, anything new from Dave anytime soon? Yeah, too much. Many, many, many things. Expect yeah. a lot from me. Yeah. I put out a single recently. It's called Nimaewa. It features T-shirt. You all should check it out on your favorite blogs. Zambia Music Blog, Afrofa. You should check it out. And I'm working on my album. Okay. It's going to be dropping soon. So yeah, yeah. expect a lot from me.